whoa, 83% of you watching right now aren't subscribed. I'd be really grateful if you did. What is up, people? Tencent here, and today I'm back with another Wailing Caverns Wild video. Today, we have a very special deck in Jade Rogue. This deck, obviously, as the name says, has a Jade package in it, which is very unique for Rogue, and is combined with a Stealth package. The Stealth package allows for you to put some nice pressure on opponents while you're in turn developing your Jade strategy. But well, you're here to see the deck play, so without further ado, let's get into those games. How's it going, Uther? Are you ready for some Jade Stealth tempo? So, I'm going to dump these to the Skyveteer just in case we don't get another Stealth Minion, but a one-cost Stealth Minion so we can coin this Greyheart on two would be nice. Didn't quite get it, but we do have a one, two, three curve. Greetings. Cool. Oh, Spy Mistress. Hello. Oh, that was a good draw. And then we can run this out on two. I like that. Screw it. We could <laughs> we could play our brand if we wanted to. Interesting. So this might be hand buff. Long time no see. And a Jade Swarmer. Boy, this hand is cooking already. Back this. Hello. So next turn, I'm just going to hit face with these two. And then play Jade Swarmer and Armor Vendor, I think. I think I'll do Armor Vendor. Or the Spy Mistress. Depends how aggressive aggressive we're feeling. Hand of a doll. That's fine. Interesting. The shuriken changes things. But does it though? I don't know how much shuriken changes things. We go ahead and do this in swing face. Let them trade stuff in. A secret. Okay. Another Swarmer is really good. We'll shoot that. <laughs> That's okay. We'll put... Swing that there. And if they trade that into our minions, it's actually pretty good for us. Mm, that's not. Though I will go ahead and trade all of these in. So that we can play this Vectus. And it gets our two, two death rattles. And then the next turn we're going to follow up with a black pot. That seems really good. Though it is worth noting that they have a lot of a, uh, a lot of attack on board. This armor vendor will come in handy, I think. Okay. Ooh. Are they gonna swing into a minion? That would be preferable. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna guess they're not swinging into a minion. That's tough. Ouch. And ouch again. So we do still have this black paw, though. I think I need an armor vendor because they've just done so much damage to us. And we'll go ahead and swing in there. And in the following turn, we can play back black paw and break it. Seems good. Let's hope our seven health can help us survive for 
following couple turns. Ouch. Okay. Give us our golem. <laughs> Okay, so swing and swing. That's a lot of golems. Can they do one damage? What does Paladin do? They could just have a charge minion. They have whatever they got off of Talon. We also have a Kazakus. Okay, so they're deciding to go with the secret instead of the damage. Okay. Interesting. What could they have that could do? Why can't you buy it? We have lethal. Oh. Do they? <laughs> oh, that had me so scared. Well played, opponent. That was such a close game. Oh my gosh. Oh. How's it going, Rexar? Hmm. So, Hunter, I think Armor Vendor will be nice, but I'm not going to fall for a traps I've fallen into previously, which is not having a stealth or death rattle minion in the starter. Okay, so we did get a Death Rattle minion that does have stealth. The Jade Swarmer is ideally what we want, but this is also okay. Cool. How's it going? And we'll go ahead and play this Skyvateer next. And I think I will do the Raptor on that, just because unless we're drawing something that can draw us more cards, we... We need to get that draw going early. Okay. Plan change. Because that draw would be to get us to this Jade Swarmer. It is very important to our deck. As is Aya Blackpaw, but this Jade Swarmer is so important because you can get it so early on in the game. Cool. So they quick shotted. Interesting. But yeah, the reason I was so focused on that draw was so we can get closer to something like this. And the reason that draw is bad is because it negatively impacts Vectus. But now that we have this down and we can do this, we are set. I think I will keep this stealth. It's just one damage and having a stealth minion is pretty important to our game. The next turn I will play this Skyvateer and... We'll start swinging with this, I think. Oh, interesting. Okay. Weird. Okay. Well, waiting paid off. Because now we have this. Flickshiv is quite good. Not sure how to feel about these. Well, it seems like it's more of a control deck. This will take a roll for an aggressor and start swinging face. Yeah. We have another stealth minion if we end up needing it, so that's why I swing here. We can play one next turn, rather. Ooh. So we don't like to see that. It's nice that they killed that, or did not let that die, because it'll trade really nicely into our shuriken. That's also fun. These shurikens will be really good. Go ahead and throw that in. And... 
Which one? Do we do another shuriken or do we do the skyveteer? I think we're actually just. I'm just gonna swing face and. I don't think Hunter can deal with these big jades. So we're just gonna keep doing this. I don't think Hunter has a very good way to deal with big jades. So this Vectus will be nice. Which we can fire off next turn. I'm really, I know I already said this, but I'm really interested to see what value we can get off of this. Cause we've had a couple opportunities that were like, okay value, but I'm intrigued. Well, this is pretty good value now. <laughs> so maybe we'll skip out on Vectus. What else could be better? If they summon a bunch of... No, nah, I'm not gonna... We're, we're, we're gonna keep it around. I think we can do better. Hmm. I don't think it matters too much what we have die here. I was trying to think if there was any way we could maybe get that back. Okay. So only one gets the golem, but it's still going to be a 5-5, five, five, so I believe that it's worth it. Interesting. Okay, so that's quite good. <laughs> well, that didn't work out for them. So let's go ahead and do this. I think we'll drop another swindle here. Kazakus is really good. And we're swinging face and dropping this. So yeah, the early Vectus so we can get this, which will summon a 5-5, and they're already looking kind of low. Okay. I would be surprised if they could somehow avoid a lethal here. Yeah, we should be looking good, especially with Kazakus. But we don't need the Kazakus. I just kind of like playing. <laughs> cool. Cool. Well played opponent. Well, we got to see the Jates coming through there for sure. <laughs> How's it going? Lady Cantra Presto. I don't think I've ever <laughs> never said hello to them before. Okay, so this Jade Swarmer is fantastic to have. We're gonna mulligan those just uh, in search of an opportunity to use this Jade Swarmer. Greyheart is very good. Cool, so we'll run it out on turn two and then turn three. I think we'll just play that. An alternative would be the, the Blade. Hmm. Flick Shiv, hello. Okay. I was if that was explosive runes, I was gonna be sad. Obviously, can't really play around that right now. But it's there. Hmm. I'm gonna guess one of those is explosive. I'm gonna just start drawing though. Another Swarmer's very good. Mm. If we have another Swarmer, do we swing? Do we do we not play around Flame Ward? I think so. And if these die to Flame Ward, that's totally fine. Then we're getting rid of it. Cool. We have many cool. 
I think now is when I play this blade. Here we go. And all oh, armor vendor. Cool. So that was the most recent secret, I believe. So then it shouldn't be... Yeah, no flame ward. Whoa. That's <laughs> really aggressive out of our opponent. So we can go ahead, swing... Trigger that. Play this and swindle. Counter spell, that's fine. Swing in here. Cool. And this flick shift will actually be really good against Occult Conjurers. Actually, a pretty decent hit. I was going to say like a Cloud Prince. We don't have a way to deal with that, so I'm tempted to to play it. Hmm. I think I will just for tempo's sake. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Even if they have a Cloud Prince again, I'm okay. So we did see it pretty soon, but I'm fine doing that just for for tempo purposes. Cool. And our Vectus is not online, or I guess it's technically online, but it's not where we want it yet. Uh, and we're not playing anything else, so we'll go ahead. Do we trade here? I think so. And then swing face. Instead of take four to our face against secret mage. Though they have used a fireball and a counter... Sh or a fireball and a cloud prince. I think we'll trade. Given our jades. Yeah, that seems good to me. Okay. Flame Ward. It's brutal here. Ooh. We do have that. So how do we how do we do this? We want this to die. How do we do this? We'll do it like this. <laughs> That's no problem. So this is immune. Yeah, so we'll swing here first. <laughs> well played, opponent. Cool. Well, I mean, that was a really <laughs> easy tempo game. How's it going, Valera? Same skin, too. So it definitely could be the scabs pillager combo in which case horde operative would be nice but i don't want to keep it still uh i don't think it's worth it against a majority of rogue decks so we have quite a quite a stealth heavy hand not much jade support here but that's cool we'll drop the mistress and then the sky of a tier and then turn three, hopefully we draw something better than what we have. You know, honestly, I'm going to coin the second one out. Just because that six damage is pretty brutal. And since they didn't play anything on turn one, if there's something slower, this will be very good. <laughs> you know what? I guess I was right. 